Welcome friends to another video. In this video, we'll see in, in Unix how to, uh, you know, subtract two dates or add two dates. And that means date difference you can find in terms of second minutes or uh, hours that you can convert later. And also if you have a date or uh, then you can add um, like one or two years or uh, specific months to it, specific weeks to it. And we'll see also there is a little bit of a bug in the date command that is found in Unix that is so far uh, not uh, noticed. So we'll see that during the upcoming uh, neck uh, during the video sessions. Okay. So now we'll go to the um, uh, Unix Unix uh, prompt command prompt. You can type date as you can see. This is the current date and then you can try something like uh, percentile uh, capital Y that will give you uh, year 2021. It's okay. I did a mistake. So it, the plus has to come first. So yes, 2021. And then you can also try something like YY percentile M means it should, it should give in month, the month name and the day, uh, what is called D, D for uh, date. You can also add something like HMM, HMMDD, like hour, minute, or second, like capital H, capital M, and capital S. So, okay, there you go. There is a shortcut also, like you can try capital F, percentile F, and percentile D, that will give you the standard format, like YYMMDD, then HHMMSS. So, okay, so now let's go back to the date again. Let's suppose if you would like to add uh, something like uh, what is called uh, by like you go back to two years like you can do something like in, inside quotation hyphen do minus two d and you need to pass the argument something like hyphen d so that will do the uh, mathematics like it subtract uh, the two years there, there you go now you are exactly two years back you can also do something like uh, you can add year or years like s s is like optional if it is multiple you can also go ahead by uh, two years and you can also add something like month or months see uh, two two months like we are ahead like july right now so and uh, you can also write the shortcut like mon you can write for weeks you can write uh, week or uh, weeks see we are ahead by two weeks we are added co compared to the current uh, time so this is like if you are not giving anything that is like uh, it is adding to the current time data time there you go either for similarly for days you can add something like day plus plus or minus some n like any number hours for hours you can add something like hour or hours similarly for minutes you can add a shortcut like mins or you can also expand that to minutes similarly for second you can add something like uh, second SCS or SCSC SCS or a seconds you can expand that okay now um, what we can try um, seconds like one or two seconds if you add it then you can uh, you may not able to notice that because uh, it will fly like anything let's add uh, 40 seconds to verify that 40 seconds current date is this much you see so you have uh, you know ahead by 40 seconds for current uh, compared to the current time now what uh, you want me to do is like we have learned like adding adding anything to the current particular date right so this is like you can add to current date now now means the current time but let's suppose if you want any specific time then you want to add uh, 40 seconds or two months or one week or one year then you can replace that now with any specific date onto that some let's suppose we will add uh, jan 1st 2021 uh, 2022 and add some uh, months to it or weeks to it let's suppose months easier for easier uh, verification we'll add two months see so we are two two in a two zero two second we are uh, going ahead and in march first like i have added jan 1st Two months that should be March 1st and then 2020 there you go that means we can add any number to any calendar 
so that's that is like you are adding a calendar with some uh, specific period of time but if we, i ask you to what you want me to do like uh, subtract two dates like this is my current time and another date similar date by either its future in future or in um, past you, you want me to you know subtract those time okay let's try to export that like the string that we have let's suppose get the, get the current time current time is we'll copy paste that to and assign to a variable called date one so exactly we'll copy this string and you can assign that okay okay i am in some other c shell so i let's go back to the bash so that i can directly assign it by using equal sign right so this is my variable i will if we do that then it will just assign that if you echo it then it should give me the variable because I have assigned to that variable and if you go that then you will get the variable value similarly for day 2 I will just um, what you can do I can uh, subtract by 4 hours like that is 15 so this is like 11 so if you sub uh, you know echo that then you will get 11 so if you try to de you know subtract these two value can you able to do that like this is a long string the day 2 also another string so can you able to simply subtract those two variables no you cannot for that this string or they may be timestamp you need to convert that to something like uh, some of the seconds like epoch time or like from that if you get number of seconds then only once you get two numbers or integers then only you can able to subtract otherwise you cannot subtract any string okay there is a command in date called uh, percentile plus a small s you mark that capital s will give you the sec uh, like uh, seconds but this guy if you pass that like hyphen date with your date variable then it will give you how many number of seconds passed uh, since the epoch time then what is epoch time epoch time let me tell you there is if you go to the manual of a date command then it will try to show you what is the exact um, timestamp of epoch time so we will try something like man date then pipe grip since if you just do that then it will give you the exact um, epoch time okay that is 1970 uh, jan first and uh, midnight from that if a percentile small s so if you do that then it will give you in seconds so once you get the seconds the difference in seconds then you can convert that to either hour minute day or year that in human readable form that you can convert so first thing is that we need to convert that into um, uh, you know in seconds so so first we, we got the variable in seconds we'll assign that second we'll convert you know we'll convert that in second and store it in a variable called second one and second two so in backtick if you see the backtick that means it will execute the command inside um, the and and whatever the it output it will store even in the variable right so there we go if you see the second the variable it stored these values then you can you can do a difference difference in second is equal to something like uh, dollar not dollar second one and second two but simply writing it don't uh, give you execute so for that for executing and this value evaluating that value you can put that in double um, bracket so if you do double different second triple and second it will give this many number of seconds that uh, i have uh, like i got in seconds so you can convert that to hours but if sim hours means if you simply divided by uh, 3600 uh, because one hour is 36 um, 3600 so if you divide that then you will get that in number of hours because it should give me four because we have uh, taken those two formats in that way like one is 15 hour and another is 11 hour so we should give it you should get that number of hours is equal to 4 if you go that dollar hour it should give you 4 that means you have converted the seconds into hours so um, that is really good let's try to whatever the steps that we have uh, captured let's try to put that in a script called uh, like if you want to pass two variables like any two date strings and you want to get that like n number of days because that is human readable, more human readable and what is the hour colon m mm and colon ss so that should return the output in that menu so that you can easily use it somewhere else like if you pass any date timestamp and it will give you the subtraction in this format 
okay for that we should whatever the commands uh, we are typed here in this screen on this screen we'll capture that inside a uh, script file dot uh, the name should be like viidentity.sh uh, i have captured something like the date one the first variable like the first argument dollar one and date two also dollar two so i have stored that uh, in my two variables so for that i will convert that to d1 and d2 so this will execute the same thing that we have tried uh, in the in the command line so now d1 and d2 we have converted those two in the seconds and you do this uh, difference that means we got the diff difference now we'll convert that into days how many number of days one day if you remember so one day is like 24 hour and one hour is um, uh, 60 minute and uh, one minute is 60 second if you can multiply those 24 into 60 into 60 then you will get something like 86,400 so there is a typo uh, 86,300 if you multiply that right so once you get that number once you divide it so that uh, there is an extra zero you can English, please ignore that so once you divide it then it will give you the number of days if it is more than that many number of seconds that means you will get this many number of days and whatever the remainder the percentile it will give you the remainder whatever the remainder that means this many number of days and this many number of seconds i got so that particular seconds is the seconds variable that you need to convert into our um, you know hour and then minute and then second so this is the format you can go so the seconds whatever the seconds you have then if you divide that by 3600 you will get number of hours right whatever the remainder remainder you get that in minutes that also you will get in hours if you divide that uh, that that many number of hours like some fraction hours or whatever maybe you divide that in 60 then you will get in minutes and also if you divide whatever um, the seconds if you divide in by 60 you'll get in seconds if both are in percentile so you can remember these three lines so this is the formula so we'll just uh, we'll finish up and after that you can echo dollar days we got the days then many number of days and then our colon mm colon ss that means this should be our output so okay we'll try to give uh, two uh, arguments to this um, uh, script like the, we will just copy paste uh, one format and another mm -hmm. in the single line okay it is not taking because it's a long argument so let me try to uh, you know uh, choose any other format something like yy or mm so that i can that can fit in uh, in this command line argument or oh, again it is not helping I think better it would be better for me to you know minimize the font a little bit so that it can able to give okay so if you can uh, adjust the if you can see clearly not clearly vaguely the day difference and the pa parameter I'm passing is uh, something like uh, one year back so it's giving me 365 days and one hour 40 minutes because I have changed the hour and uh, minutes also so what I'm thinking that like you can also um, use that um, because it is not readable because of the long uh, what is called command line argument you are unable to see that in a single line so that you cannot correlate but I'm thinking I can also you can also pass in other format something like um, yy mm dd or our colon or something okay this is not an exact this is not a correct uh, uh, format uh, I think it's a better to mm -hmm -hmm. okay I'm stuck here it's a better to because you cannot uh, write that in a single line that is the only problem like, I think it's better for me to just a uh, little bit uh, uh, zoom out if I zoom out then only you can able to see it clearly I believe this is not a correct way that is you will get the error because i have uh, this is not the correct date format okay uh, give me a minute i will try to minimize that so that you can able to see that oh okay mm, date difference zero colon one colon one colon something like that this is my date 
the other format was quite long so i just try i'm just trying to you know choose other um, date format which is very small size and at the same time i can also yeah that is what i was thinking about uh, you know minimize the font so that it it will you know fit in in the single line okay okay there you go this is like feb uh, first and uh, feb so that means 31 days yes one one hour difference there you go that means you can read it clearly like this many number of days this many number of hour colon minute colon second that that you can understand it quite easily so you can also go back to the our previous commands that we have tried like you can also give the longer expansion of the tree like friday may and that like other uh, human readable that you you know you can read it like the day and month also instead of numbers okay let's go back to the cap you know last fonts and there is a bug that i was talking about so okay there's a specific month peculiar month um, uh, that is called yeah that is the bug that i was talking about like the day difference whatever the date it is trying to find out so there is a bug if you try to difference there is only for a particular month like uh, like september 9 1752 if you see closely there is 11 days missing in that like after 2 there is a 14 but if you try to date the difference between two dates like 14th i will just uh, go to the date i wouldn't give any timestamp, but it will also try to give you the um, difference i will just type the first one is 14th september and the second one is um, uh, 2 zero 02 so it should give me only one difference because you can see the calendar clearly it should be one day difference but if you try to do it by this calculation it is giving me some wrong value that means there is a bug it is giving two days so there is a bug in that you found it while studying it right here well, there you go so we have learned uh, so, you know data addition by week month or uh, second or hour and also you, have, you can able to subtract the two dates any any format either is you can give a long format or short format or you can give give the date without any time stamp thank you for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos stay tuned bye bye